Hi everyone, welcome to the another video of Postman series. So in our last video, we have seen how to send the get method, right? So get request from the postman. So today in this video, we'll see about how to send the post method. So what is post method? So the post method will send the data to the server to create in the new record or new resource or new uh, record resource or new entry. Right. So in our case, what we are doing, so we are simply adding the testers into our database, right? So these two details, I mean, these two IDs, uh, we have added these two attributes or objects, right? So these two objects, so this is object one and this is object two, which we have added, right? So now by sending the post method, we can add some other users into the particular database. Okay, so for that, we have to use the post method, okay? So what are the details post method it will have? So you have to send the request party, Okay, the post method always need a request body. Okay, if it is not using the request body, an alternative case is they might send the request body as a query parameter also. Okay, so now for example, uh, I can show you. We'll go to the red bus. Okay, so this red bus or any bug, yes, any booking kind of thing, any website you can take. Okay, even for example, GitHub website also you can take github repository for creating a new repository right so the creating the new repository is the post method because we are going to create the repository first time right so whenever you create the repository that is the first time because we are creating a new repository okay in our account so if you go to this red bus uh, examples so this is for bus booking platform right similarly you can take anything like a bike booking or anything so here I am going to. What are the inputs that we have to give as a part of end user? We have to provide the username. I mean, uh, sorry, from under two location and the date that you are planning to travel. Okay, so these are the three inputs. So when we do the search, so we are getting some relevant results, right? So you might get a number of buses from different different bus operator services. Okay, now if you want to look at what kind of call it is, okay, so we might think this is as a get method because we are just retrying the bus details. But when you go to the inspect, and if you go to the network tools, so all activity that you are doing in the browser, it will be recorded in the network fan. Okay, so make sure this recording is on, which is in the red color. So if you stop the recording, so any activity that you are doing in the browser, it will not be recorded. Okay, so make sure this is in the recording, which is a red color. So which means the recording is on. Okay, now all the network activities will be recorded in the network tab. Okay. So now I'm going to give something like Bangalore to Chennai. Okay. So you can see the recording. I mean, the, the network started the record. Okay. So I can simply clear on this. So I'm going to select the date and I'm clicking on the search buses. Okay. So when we do this, so we might be getting a number of bus operator services. So totally we have find uh, one not nine buses, right? So if you scroll down into the network tab, so if you see, if you look at the very first call, you can see here, this is going as a get method with the status code as it is coming as a 200, correct? But if you go to the response, this is not the actual API endpoint. Okay, this is a website URL. So if you uh, scroll down detail, so there you can see something else, so this one. Okay, this one, if you look at this, this is an endpoint actually. Okay, endpoint in the sense. So here you can see the URL is going as a red bus dot in bus tickets, right? But but here you can see red bus dot in slash search search results. Okay, so if you copy this URL, so what is coming in the payload? I mean, this is a payload as a request body, what we are sending. So we are sending as a Bangalore as a source and destination is a Chennai and this is a particular Okay, they have internal mapping for the particular cities. Okay, for Chennai, it is 123. For Bangalore, it is 122. Okay, and this method is going as a post. Okay, why? Because we are sending this input parameter and it is going as a part of query parameter. Okay, not in the request body. Okay, and if you go to the preview, you can see whatever the response is coming. So you can see this. So totally, uh, they, let's explain. Yeah, so here you can see total count 109 buses are coming, right? That is what we are seeing in the bus level also. I mean, in the in the red bus website also, you can see 109 buses. And if we expand this metadata and if you go one by one inside, so you will see all the bus operating services name also. Okay, so let me copy this. This is a URL endpoint. We'll go to the postman. 
okay and this is a post method correct so i am changing this one as a post method so now this no, does not require any body because everything is handled in the request query parameter itself okay so in the query parameter you can see it is going as a from city to city source destination date of join i mean date of journey so now if i send this okay it is coming as a 401 for oh, sorry 415 unsupported media type so this is 400 series anything under 400 series this is called a client error right so what we were missing here in the sense if you just go to here and if you look at the request header right it is going as application json okay so which means the content type that content type should be application json so here you can see it is going as a content type application json so this one we have to add to the postman because we have to tell the response that we are expecting is content type is application json okay so i am just giving that manually content type application so there are a lot of content type you can use so for this one they are using as an application json okay so after selecting sending this so now i could see the response is coming in the response tab okay 404 not found. let me check what is missing here okay let me send it again okay i have copied something else here let me delete this okay now you can see i am getting the response as a 200 so even though it is a it is a post method still we are getting as a 200 right we were expecting to get it as a 201 but we are getting as a 200 because here we are not creating any new buses right here they are just sending our input to retrieve the buses that is available from this particular route on this particular day. Okay. So now the response also, you can see the total count is coming as a 109, right? This is what we have seen in the our website, our red bus website also. You can see total bus is 109. Okay. So let me take some bus. So let's take this ASEAN Express. I'm copying that uh, this bus name, this ASEAN Express. I'm going here. Okay, I'm just pasting the value here. You can see the bus name is coming here. Okay, so let me go inside some details. So, for example, I want to see the uh, boarding point and dropping points. Okay, so now if I click on this boarding point, okay, it is starting from the Majestic, which is Bangalore location. Okay, so now in the response, if you scroll down, you can see the boarding point details as well here also. Okay, this is BP data, which is boarding point data. Okay, and you can see the name is Majestic. This is a first stop and it is starting time as 10 p.m. Okay, if you go to the uh, website also, you can see that it is starting at the 10 p.m. Okay, similarly, you can see all the things. So for example, in the dropping point, so this is our last one, which is Atibali, right? So you can see Atibali toll is here. Okay, and the displaying, display name is Atibali toll, but the actual name is Atibali. So similarly, if you want to see the dropping data, so our first dropping data is Sri Pirambudur. Okay. So if you look at here, so the actual name is Sri Pirambudur, but the dropping name display name is Sri Space Pirambudur. Okay. So all the details you see in the same API that is coming in the website by using the presentation layer. Okay. So presentation layer, data layer, application layer. So our API is working on the application layer. So this raw data I can cannot show to the customer. Okay, that's the reason when it is fit to the presentation layer, which is UI UX. So that will be the very user friendly to the customer. Okay, so here still it is a post method and it is giving us a 200 response. Whenever you create something, right? So let, let go to our use case. So let me start our server first. Go to start our server, JSON hyphen server, our file name dot data JSON. <clears throat> okay the server is started now so currently we have only these two records right so name and uh, john and id is 001 and here john peter 00 sorry 012 right so let me change this back to the post method so in the post obviously we have to send somebody to create the record so in the body you have to select as a raw in the raw you have to select as a json because we are going to send the json details Okay, as a request body. 
So here the content type will be automatically selected as a JSON. So when you start typing JSON, it will automatically take. So for example, I'm going to send something like a name. Okay. So name, I'm giving my name. And I want to pass something like a mobile number. So mobile number is a number, right? So I can give some random number like this. So this is our own data, so you, so you don't have much restriction, so you can play with it. So and I'm going to send the skills. Okay, so skills, the user might have a number of skills, so that, that I'm giving in the array object. So selenium. API mobile. Okay. So after this, I'm going to send my address. So address is not a single time. So we can give it in the object. Okay. So like this. So I'm going to provide the door number. Door number is integer. So I'm just giving the integer and the street. Street is a string. So I'm just giving it a sample street and city okay similarly you can send multiple things like a state account or anything else so city i'm giving as a channel okay so after this if you just click on this beautify button which will beautify your json file like this okay the moment when you created the json now if you come here okay so here you can see the content type it is going as an application json so the postman has uh, intelligent to act i mean identify what kind of a request body was sending okay so now let's go to and send this one. Okay, now you can see the status code is coming as a 201. Okay, because we are creating the new record to the database. Okay, so how do we confirm the record is successfully stored? So we are getting 201 created, which is everything is fine. But still, if you want to confirm how this record is being stored in our database, so what you can do, I can close this file and I can go to this folder and open this file again. You can see this is what the record just now we created. Okay, and they have some internal mapping for the ID. Okay, this ID is coming from the JSON server dependency. So if you go to the JSON server dependency website, so here you can see ID values are not mutable. Okay, so this ID is by default, they are generated. So it is not mutable, but if you want to change, you can change. Okay, so now I'm, I'm going to send this ID value additionally. Okay, so I'm going to define this ID as triple one. Okay, so now I'm going to create one more record. So when I send this, you can see ID is coming as a triple one. The default ID is not coming because we are controlling our own ID. Okay, so now if I open again this uh, database, which is our uh, JSON file, you can see one more record is being created here. Okay, so now you can see, I mean, the name also same, mobile number also same, skills, address, everything is same, right? But still you can create a record because only the unique value or unique attribute is id okay so if i change this if i send the same request again okay with the triple one as an id okay it will not allow okay you can see it is coming as a 500 internal server and the message you can see insert fail duplicate id because the id is unique right so you can now compare this um, use case to any real time cases like for example when you go for a supermarket and the first time they will ask you to create the membership id Right. So when it is asked for the creation of membership, so you have to provide your name, mobile number, email address, your, uh, delivery address, everything, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Correct. So they will make the entry to the database. So the database will return some ID, which is a membership ID. So when you go for a next time, you have to tell either mobile number or membership ID. Right. So to fetch your record from the database. So now we have successfully created and we have verified this uh, getting stored in our JSON also. So now if you want to check. So as a, from the get method also, we can say, so I'm just going to make this as a duplicate request. Since it is a get method, I'm going to change one as a get and I have to remove the request body because our get doesn't require any request body. Your post method always required a body. That body can be as a JSON file or it can be as a query parameter also, right? In the request, still it is a post method. We are sending this input value in the query parameter, okay? So here it is coming as a 200 because we are not creating any resources. We are not creating any new buses. We are just validate, I mean, we are just retrieving or reading the buses availability on this particular day. Okay. 
but here we are creating a new record okay so if we go to the get method if i send this so whatever the databases a uh, users has right so it, totally it has a four users so all four it is coming here okay and it is a get method you will get two welcome okay so if i want to filter only uh, the triple one id so i can use this path parameter value to filter out only this triple one id users okay so two points to remember on the post method the post method always request the body i mean require the respect this body and it always has the response body also okay if it is a body is not available then some cases it might be considered as a query parameter so this is also it's a kind of like an input only okay so when you send this you will get it as a 200 201 which is a created status status created in the sense it's a sign up success anything under 200 it is sign up success okay and we can retrieve the details and make sure the details are getting stored in the database also which is our json file okay again in the server log you can see all the details are getting printed in the server log also okay so this is what the post method okay so we have discussed about the how to set get set the header if it is application i mean we are sending the body as a json right the content type as a json so that's the reason we have defined this content type equal to json so there are a lot of options when you when you to just delete this okay instead of json so when you just delete this you can see there are a lot of options will come on the application i mean on the content type you can see application content type json and there are a lot of things and let me go to this view the moment when you type as application you can see application json or javascript pdf postgres right there are a lot of xml zip file graphql right so in our case we are sending this as application json okay that's the reason we are selecting this okay so this is a i mean uh, one of the use case so if you guys uh, know any better example please update in the comment section so we'll review that also okay so we have created successfully two records so if you want to create additional record also so you can change the id like a triple one two and when you send this request that will be created successfully so we are getting as a two not one created status okay this is how we'll make the post method so now if you again go to the get request so if you delete this triple one and if you just took for the entire record so the triple i mean double one two should come here yeah it is coming right okay so this is how so if you want to filter out like id equal to uh, triple one two you can do that by using the query parameter you see only the id one double double one two is coming okay so to remember the request body always has the post method and you will get the successful response body also okay that is the only two things so that's all about this video we'll see in the uh, the remaining methods http methods like a put patch delete in the upcoming videos Thank you guys